Teen Idol David Cassidy is best known for his hit records and of course his role in The Partridge Family, which aired in the 70s. He died on Tuesday, about nine months after revealing he had dementia. Danny Bonaducci joins us now. He was, of course, the co-star uh, with Cassidy on The Partridge Family. He's also the host of a morning show on KZOK 102.5 here in Seattle. Uh, thanks so much for being here. We know you're with us when we learned that David Cassidy had dementia, uh, and it was really clear that David was much more than, than just a co-star. Uh, he's always been like a brother. To, well, that's not true, not always. When we worked together on The Partridge Family, he was 20, I was 10. We were not really close. Right. I thought of him as my brother because he was David Cassidy. He was the coolest thing that ever happened and I would swear he was my brother but this is something I've never told anybody not because this only happened like yesterday. Uh, Sean Cassidy called me and Sean and I are not real close so he's a nice guy I really like him and he called me up and he said I just want you to know uh, Danny that David thought of you as his other brother and it was really important that I really wanted to tell you tell you that and when I call uh, Sean later I'll call him later today I knew because David told me all the time, went out of his way to tell me he loved me. I, I'm really sorry that guy's gone. Wow. Um, is there a way to describe how close you guys got? And what was it about your friendship that you, um, that you felt was so special? Well, I don't know that I, and I, you know, I'm not a sad story or anything. I got a family, I got a mom, I had a dad, brothers, sisters, the whole works. But David wanted nothing but the best for me, and I gave him a run. I made things difficult for him to be kind to me. I got in a lot of trouble, a lot of embarrassing things, and arrests all over the tabloids. And David called me up one day, and he's always said this. He said, you're the funniest guy in the world, but now you're the joke. Don't be the joke. Wow. I was kind of offended. You know, David Cassidy is all five foot six, 125 pounds. Not in his best interest to yell at me. And I, but he said, I want you to go on tour with me which was craziness, go on tour with David, all right. He said, we're gonna show up on time, sober, you're gonna do your job and you're gonna get a, a job out of this. And I said, okay. He said, I want you to, to get on the tour bus, there'll be no women, no smoking, and no drugs and no alcohol. And I said, I am not going. <laughs> Why would I ever go to those circumstances? But I went and he was right, I got a job. And I kind of owe this conversation in a way to David Cassidy. You know, he said, you're gonna get on this tour and you're gonna get a job, and I did. And I've been on the radio every day since. Mm -hmm. Are there any stories or a side of David that the public that, that we didn't get to see? Um, well, yeah, I, I, it's hard to say that because in a way, you saw everything. We've been on TV forever. We've been on TV long before you were born. Mm -hmm. And we're here talking about him after he's gone. So I don't know, but I will tell you this. I went on tour with him. And I know David Cassidy is the biggest star in the world. 100,000 seats he sold at the Wembley uh, Tennis gra 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 Grounds in Amsterdam, not in Amsterdam, in uh, Australia. Australia, just says oh, Wembley, wow. trying to throw you. Oh. <laughs> so that's who I know in his crazy costumes and his getup. We did a show one night for 43 people. And I know because I counted. I made it part of my act to go, wow, only 43 who showed up. And he, he didn't care in the sense that he gave everything, every show. Whether it was 1,000 people, which it often was, or 43 people, they all got the best David Cassidy can be. And he gave till the end. I was talking to him literally before my vacation last week. I was talking about the show he wanted me to do. He wanted me to do uh, uh, a biography show about him. And I said, yeah, of course. I'm in the telling good stories about David Cassidy business. Love to do it, pal. Anything I can do for you. And he was so excited about it. And I got on a plane and I went to Rome with my family for my vacation and we got off the plane and we went to get ice cream and a guy came up to me and said, oh, I'm terribly sorry for your loss. And I said, what, what, I thought my mother, she's 93 years old, I just assumed that I thought, well, how would this guy know hmm. that? And I went back to my hotel and he met David Cassidy, but he, he hadn't passed away yet, he was on life support. Uh, just, a, just a tough, I mean, it was just a tough time all the yeah, way around. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of us look at stardom and and famous people like you, and, and we think, wow, that would be so much fun, that'd be so cool, but it's, it's not all fun, right, being famous. I mean, there, there were a lot of hard times for you guys, weren't there? A lot, a lot of hard times, and uh, you know, luckily for me, because I see uh, fame as a curse for other people. Mm -hmm. I had things that were just so bad, but, but when that time that David Cassidy offered me that job, then when people went to my, I mean, a lot of people say, I'm not signing autographs during dinner. Sit down, share my meal, I'll sign whatever you need. Thanks for being here, thanks for caring. Um, but, you know, the Cassidy family, I think, was a little bit torn up by that much fame. And all of them, from Jack Cassidy, Shirley Jones Academy Award winner, Sean Cassidy, Pop Idol, who now produces half the shows on television, Patrick Cassidy on Broadway almost every night, Ryan Cassidy, smart enough not to get famous. Wow. Hmm. 
I, we could talk on and on and on. Uh, we could and I we will. Could. I know. <laughs> Danny, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so My much. My pleasure. Thank you. Sorry for your loss, and uh, we're glad to have you here in Seattle, man. Thank, Thank you very much. Very kind. Keep up the good work.